Hello, and welcome back to Kester's Forest. Now I was browsing the PlayStation Store the other day and this game here, Megaton, caught my attention. Now I think it must have been the artwork because it looks pretty cool, but I was scrolling down just to have a look and see what this game was, I was a little intrigued, and the description really caught my eye. Originally developed in 1994 by visionary game developer Takashi Fukuhara, this exclusive Pippin console title was poised to revolutionise gaming with its stunning realism and gripping gameplay. Journey through a nightmarish underworld filled with colossal demons, collect the forbidden tomes of an ancient evil book, and prepare for the ultimate showdown with Megaton, a mega demon whose very presence shakes the earth. Your goal? Be the first to claim the legendary scroll and unlock a treasure. Though the game faced extensive delays due to Fukuhara's relentless pursuit of realism, leading to its eventual cancellation for being too realistic, Megaton, giant demons from hell, has finally been unearthed by forensic game archaeologists. Rediscovered but not remastered, this game offers a rare glimpse into a legendary lost piece of gaming history. Well, colour me intrigued, so I bought the game, but then me being me, I started googling whether this was around physically because I thought it was really interesting the fact that someone had released a Pippin game on the PS5 and it took me to this website. Now I have heard of these guys before and this is the Fomaporium from Limited Rare Games where they sell bizarre games quite often without announcing them and they sell out immediately and quite often they're quite bad and they have a wicked sense of humour so I was starting to wonder actually was this even real? And that's really the point of this video. I understand that this is obviously some sort of joke, but what I'm really interested to know is, was this ever actually produced for the Apple Pippin? Usually the games they release on here are sort of repurposed mobile phone games, etc. But I've had a look around the internet and I really can't find anything about this at all. Takashi Fukuhara himself just becomes a fictional character that links straight back to the website, so I'm starting to doubt that he really exists. And I started to look into whether there were any lists anywhere of unreleased Apple Pippin games. Now the Apple Pippin, as most people know, was a failed console by Apple in the 1990s. Um, it was relatively powerful, I think, for the time, but really wasn't well supported and very few games came out for it. And it died, you know, probably one or two years into its lifespan. But uh, if I have a quick look down the, uh, the list, you can see what was released for it the games that were there a lot of ports from pc and, and maybe playstation and there is a website here i'll link to it below which shows all the games that were supposed to be released and then just got cancelled including unreleased ports but nothing about this game so going back to the limited rare website there is this uh, sort of page devoted to the game developer and if you have a look you'll see that there is a video on here that's clearly um, a bit of a piss take and just a bit of fun. Um, I actually think it's relatively amusing, uh, very poorly put together and very rushed. But if you, if you have a look at this, you can see clearly this is not a real film. This guy did not make this. And so again, it's really adding to the idea that this game itself is a complete hoax. So we've established that it's quite likely that Takashi is a fictional character, but I still want to know was this game actually produced for the Pippin in 1994? Well, I've got the game. Let's have a look. Well, I thought I'd just give you a couple of seconds there to bask in the awesome audio of the title screen. Absolutely horrible sound. And you can see there as well, we've got this kind of VHS effect, uh, sort of bad tracking filter over the top of it to give it a bit of a, um, an oldie look. I got my first trophy, which is just for starting the game in the first place. So yeah, skills there. And you can see the graphics actually are not too bad. They're very bleak. The game itself is very bleak. And the sound on the game is, is, is horrible. Yeah, that gives you some idea of, of what we're talking about here. Yeah, that's enough of that sound. You can see that um, I've got another trophy for surviving 100 seconds. And then we also get these sort of weird subliminal message pop-ups that don't seem to make any sense. And aside from the fact you start with an axe, this game is just a basic FPS. Correction, it's an FPS with one of the most horrible soundtracks I've ever heard. Yay, 
Hey, another 200 seconds passed. The sound effects on the weapon are actually pretty good. The weapons in this game generally sound okay. And this thing is truly grotesque. And actually I was looking at it thinking, the graphics on this, although it's, it's a really weird design, I'm not sure that a game back then would have maybe looked this good. I, I don't know. Oh dear, I've died. Now, as mentioned on the title screen and in the instructions, you're supposed to go around and sort of eventually collect the scroll. And at the beginning, it sort of says, find the four tomes to collect the scroll. So you can see in the top right, I've got this vague map uh, with some white dots that I sort of head towards uh, a spawn map for the tomes. Now, I, I have found one tome. Here it is. And I've played this game now probably only for about half an hour. I'm wandering around, but I, I'm pretty sure I've covered this entire map and I have only ever found one tome. So I feel like this game might be, you know, having a bit of a laugh with me. And now I've got myself an assault rifle. Again, the sound effects are pretty good, sound all right. Uh, and I'm just starting to wonder, you know, really whether the graphics on this game are just a little bit too good for uh, something produced in 1994. So let's compare it to a game actually from their era on the Apple Pippin. Um, this is Marathon 2. Now I've uh, borrowed this footage from a YouTuber called Video Game Esoterica and it's an excellent channel so please do check them out. The link is in the description below. But I think you can see quite clearly here comparing the two that you know even with a good looking game like Marathon 2 this is you know although it's obviously a very poorly badly put together game this whole thing is just one big practical joke. It can't have been produced back in the mid 90s. Or could it have? Maybe I'm absolutely wrong and this is really what that is and they're just putting it out with an, an amusing backstory about uh, a fictional developer. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you have any more information on this game. Otherwise, I will see you next time on Kester's Forest.